level one Roy from data spinners and tdg in this session we are going to use a component in order to create a little number pad for us to use so let's see how that goes so here i am in power apps and the first thing i'm going to do is to move over to components um, and what i'd like to do is i'd like to create a new component this is a one i prepared earlier but uh, that's not what we're going to cover today so i'm going to do new component uh, and i need to make sure to so get the size right on this it looks a bit strange but i'm not going to worry too much about the size on this for the moment all i'm going to do is to kind of show you the principles that we need to use so i'm going to do this i'm going to rename it as cmp number pad I mean, the first thing I'll do. Okay, good. We'll keep it real simple. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go and introduce a gallery. So introduce a gallery and uh, I think it's a vertical gallery that we need. We can always uh, switch it up and do uh, leave that for the moment. Um, I need to make sure my items are correct and I'm going to go a little bit here's one I prepared earlier on this and just see if that's actually in there let me just uh, yeah so I need to bring in a table of data the way to do that is to go onto the items property on the uh, gallery and just remove that and replace it with this text here so what we'll find is obviously this isn't in the format that we need it but we actually started to get something already essentially it's just got um it's it's a table with only one field in so let's just get rid of that uh, and we'll also I'm just going to go onto the um, gallery itself and just make sure what what we need the shape of the gallery is is just that we need it pretty well blank will do get rid of that and then we'll also get rid of this because we don't need it in fact we don't even need um we don't even need this um so we can we can worry about that another time what we are going to do is though is we are going to make sure that we do the wrap correctly on so in order to do that, we are going to move over to the right hand side and we'll go on to the wrap count. We'll change that to three. So there we are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've even got a dot in there. I've been really nice to you guys. Um, so that kind of gets us started. We've got a gallery with, with different bits in. We really need to make these things a little look a bit more like buttons because that's what they're going to be. So we'll do insert button. I'm not going to go too crazy over the um, over formatting and so on on this um, and then we'll go on the text on this and we'll make it this item uh, it should be dot number yeah that will do uh, that gives us that and we'll get rid of this text here uh, and then maybe sort of soften this up a bit with um, some border radius and make sure it's something like that I'll go with 10 see what that looks like okay that'll do on that um, probably make the text size a bit bigger so change the size make it i don't know it looks like 25 might be a better size for this um and then what we're going to need to do is we will need to um make sure that as we click each button something else is happening i'm just going to make this a bit bigger and i'm also going to make that a bit smaller let's bring those together a bit more that looks a bit neater now and we can obviously play around with the size and so on so we have a gallery and with some buttons that do absolutely nothing at the moment um, so what we're going to do is we are going to um, we're now going to change how those buttons work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the uh, the first item and then the look at the on select property and on the on select property we are going to change our variable. So what we'll do is we'll do set gv um, entry. That's my variable name and we're going to set it to be a concatenation of what it was before and the item that we just clicked on. So we'll do concatenate. So that's just uh, joining the two things gv entry and uh, and this item dot number so and i'll close the brackets on the concatenation 
and I close the brackets on GV uh, entry and then it's all nice and happy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a label in there that's yeah that's outside which is good and we'll um, put the variable uh, where the text is and we should be able to see this actually working right now so let's just in fact we can't actually see it working just yet because we haven't actually put it anywhere but you can actually if you click the alt button down you can actually see it obviously this this will allow you to do as many dots as you like and obviously you could do something to make sure that that wasn't a, a possibility um, and then maybe on the uh, on the AC we would probably need to do something different as well so you need to make some kind of decision as to if they click on the um, if you click on the AC then it'll reset it uh, and so on so um, that's nearly there um, so in order to get this calculation out we are going to need to create a new custom property and it is an output property and it's going to be uh, a number and we need to make sure that it is a number so display uh, display name and we'll call it um, uh, let's call it for the moment calc total it's probably not the best naming convention, but we'll just work with it for the moment. Name is calc total description. Um, I'll just put the same name in each case. Uh, and then we'll just do create on that. Then we'll need to move to the advanced um, section because at the moment all it's going to do is produce calc total. And what we want to do is to make it the uh, GV, um, GV entry. Now, I'd be sort of tempted to make sure that it, we wrapped the GV entry in a value function. So I'd just type in value um, GV entry um, and then close the brackets. And that should ensure that if we have any um, any um, any dots at the end, then <laughs> it's not going to cause us any problems. So there we are. We're nearly there. So let's see if we can make use of this component. We're going to move to our screens here. Um, we've got some funnies to do with, you know, how big things look and so on. Um, uh, and what we're going to do now is going to move on to the drop down top right for components. We're going to get our CMP number pad and we are going to put it in, which is fantastic. And then what we'll do is we'll put a label which sits outside the component and we'll get it to read what the component is telling us. So I need to put the size up a little bit because I can't even see that. So make that, uh, let's make it 40, nice and big. And then on the text property, what we'll do is we'll set that to be um, CMP, oops, CMP number pad underscore one dot and then we're going to go and look for this um, this calc total property and at the moment it is zero which is great and let's just um, check our the performance of this so 15 point point oh I just made a mistake what a pity and that does illustrate already that, that we've got I'm going to say a problem with it it's just that we've hardly spent any time on it so we don't have the the AC working so let's just work with that for the moment so what we'll do is we'll move back to the components and we will then get the AC working and I think the way in which we're going to do that is we are going to just do a simple if statement so let's just go on there so so um, I'm gonna do it as a yeah I'll just do it as an if statement um, switch <laughs> switch and in fact no do if if um, this item nope this item dot number equals AC uh, then we're going to set the GV entry to uh, blank set the GV entry to and then just do dub two sets of quotes and then stick a comma in for otherwise 
and that should see us okay and we have to close the bracket on that to make sure it's all working nicely so if it gets to z um if it um if we get a the ac we should find that resets it um and i think the other thing that we should perhaps consider doing is is i would on that concatenation um if there's any double um if there are any if it sees two dots in there it would then remove them um i'm i'm not sure you know what the right way of doing that is but you know maybe just do the um hit the ac if that's the case um i mean there's there's plenty of ways around it so what we're going to do now is we we have changed the performance uh of this so we can move back to the screen and I'm just going to change the size of it so we can actually see what's going on and i am just going to do 15.9 uh, and you can see that if I press the AC 0.8 uh, AC, so that's quite nice. And if you think about how, um, if you think about how it works on your iPhone and so on, the numbers can be really, really small. And it'd be rather nice to have uh, a much nicer number pad in order to um, do your entries. So I think this is quite good. So I've just checked, and this is number 50 in the series. So this is pretty cool achievement. Um, I've come a long way. I've learned a massive amount through um through having done this so but i'm not going to dwell on it too much i'll probably do some kind of special on it anyway um so hopefully you enjoyed this on components there's more to come with components so i will see you again sometime soon thanks